Currently, most meetings are conducted by presenting data in PowerPoint presentation instead of directly interacting with dashboards. Oracle Fusion application users mostly use any of these three methods to insert chart in PowerPoint from environment. The number one is use the inbuilt export option. This will create separate PowerPoint presentation with graph as an image. You can for then format the text as needed. Second option is use the snipping tool to cut out the image and paste it onto the PowerPoint. Option three is insert the chart in Microsoft PowerPoint manually and then insert the data manually. You would think why anybody would do this. It gives more flexibility. You can customize the chart as per your liking and add any external data you want. It allows you to add annotations and other formatting parts. Of course, this option is more work, but it is often the best option for professional presentations. Let's go for the fourth option, which we'll be discussing in today's video using the SmartView add-in. If SmartView is not already installed on your system, I recommend that you watch the video in the description and install SmartView and connect to your environment. Let's connect the SmartView. Panels. Private connections. Select the connection environment. So now we are connect, connected to the environment. Let's navigate to the analysis that we want. So this is the chart. The image is already inserted. So you can make comparison. So now the chart is loaded. Of course, you will see the look and feel is not as we want. This is the output of actual graph. So most of the formatting will not be same as we see on the chart and on the presentation. But this graph is purely updatable. I can start formatting as per my need. Just like this, the font size. You can just click, right click and say format data labels. Sizing only to 10. Graph resize. So axis categories, I would like to see on the reverse, that is the one with the highest value at the top. Second, there's a negative sign. So I would like to show the graph after the labels, the lowest point. size reducing it to the 10 removing the title so some more values reducing 9 so now everything is available color we can change uh, the bar width No border weld colors or we want a gray color all and only for the few so all these formatting options are available you can insert the chart title H entity or any other fill. So you can see now that all formatting options are available. Even the grid lines it's removed.
so multiple options are available over here on formatting part now the other part is this is only for 0, 0120 and when I inserted chart it is on the 0, 0120 let's me check, check the prompt what it is there the page prompt So it's period 10 and 20. So we're on 20 page changed. So now we can compare the numbers that are matching for both the graphs. And even individually, you can put the highlights and say something about it, the messaging. And whenever you refresh the data, this formattings will remain as is, so it will not get changed. So that is number one part. Let's see the another benefit. So changes to the analysis. Now this is the graph already linked with the analysis. So instead of US primary ledger, let me select the progress US primary ledger. So I can see here, let me put something on the March 20. So everything three are there and all of them are in loss. So let me save it. So on replacing the view, we can see that the formatting has been lost. So to restore the same format again, what I can do is instead of going through all this step, I can save this graph as a template. And then all I need is change chart type to this particular one. So the graph is ready with the same formatting that we have placed earlier. So any changes to the analysis we can easily restore and the formatting also will be available. Third is like the date prompt. Now every month if you want to use this PPT for the month of June it was this. If I want to use it for any another period the analysis should have this page prompt. If we select and change it for any other month. So as of now the analysis period is ledger has been changed. So let me restore back this ledger. So your screen may start blinking because the data updates are happening at the back. Chart 2 is refreshed. this it has been stored back okay sorry it has been stored back for 2021 the title you need to update this is not the dynamic one so 2021 we have only the one entity which is having loss rest of the transactions there are no entries so prompts can also be updated at the same time fifth is the animation part so let's see what animations we can do on this part so all this but then entire graph will not have option to highlight any other things but when we come to on this part i can have an animation on entire objects so first let me remove small i can say fade 
So it fed as an object or as a category. You can see one by one everything is available. So for this first and second three we want d1 wipe of this direction all at once and for the rest they will come all together at once. Okay, let's see the animations. So you can talk like this is the entire profit for each entity wise or during your presentations you can talk on first five then this are the five and ensure that the users are not able to see other and they are focusing on the main five which we were talking and then we can discuss like the rest of all of this the profits. So you can control the animations also on the smart view. And the last is the chart template that we already seen i can create or save this as a one template and then reuse it multiple time i hope this video has given you enough reasons to use smart view obi add-in for powerpoints i have listed key benefits we discussed in this video for your reference i hope you found this video helpful if you want to be notified for similar videos in future please subscribe to the channel for any questions related to report development please contact us at the email address provided in the description of this video thanks for watching this video